Hey, we have received uh, Apple Mac 1502. It's having a speaker issue. It is making noise. I'm just going to play the music to see how it looks like. If you can hear the, uh, the sound, um, the distortion in the speaker, we are just going to fix this issue. Okay, now we are going to fix this issue to see how we can manage it. I'm just going to fix this speaker with the help of a rubber glue to see if we can manage this. Okay, I have shut down the Apple Mac. Now I'm just going to tear down and take apart to see if we can manage it. Just moving the camera up. It is a 1502 model. The first thing is to remove the battery, to not uh, to prevent any sort of a short. I'm just removing the connector, and now I'm moving forward forward to see what's the problem with the speaker. Okay, there are two speaker. One is here, and the second one is here. We are just going to remove both of them to see any sort of damage. Make sure have the connect battery connector out remove this connector from here and here we go now we have a speaker issue let me show you in details after that after some time but first time i will just show you uh, where is the damage the damage is here around if you can see the coil inside the copper coil it shouldn't be like this it should be completely packed i'm just going for the second speaker to see if there is any damage around there as well the cable of this speaker is going really underneath what i'm going to do now i'm just not going to remove the entire speaker i'm just leaving the cable like here because connector is underneath of this cable it, it may require to really remove these two screws and then this ribbon and then the cable but, I just, but i'm just leaving like this okay both of the speakers are damaged if you see here it's it's not really working uh, not really completely packed it's teared off Okay, I'm just going to pause the video and go for the microscopic view to see how it how it's going to display in a microscope. Okay, I'm just going to leave this speaker like this and pause the video, come back once I'm going to have a microscopic view. Okay, I just zoomed in and now you can see the damage more clearly. It's around here. 
if I because whenever you play whenever we play any sound just move like this and then we can hear the proper sound because right now it is damaged and it is not really the sound is uh, getting released from these sides it is not really compact that uh, it's gonna bulge up to really make the sound okay now this is the glue i'm using if you see i already pasted over here it's a dried out glue if you can see i'm removing this one and it's moving like this i'm just gonna put this glue it is sort of a rubber glue i'm just gonna put around here on this speaker this area i'll show you how it looks like when i just drop up uh, a new glue over here it's gonna be like this without when when it's not dried out i'm just gonna pause the video and come back okay this is uh, since yesterday i left like this and this glue is already dried out but still it is elastic and this is the new i just put it in i'm just gonna apply this glue around the speaker okay here we go it's gonna clear a little bit doesn't matter if it goes around do not uh, try to avoid the top try to avoid top of the speaker just go around a little bit anyway this not this is not a hard glue it's gonna it's gonna be easier to remove if you just go wrong if you just put it outside or inside you can you can remove easily damage is big I uh, need to use a little bit more glue or at least two three layers on it if one doesn't stick properly Okay, just go slow and try to attach really slowly try to just put a glue really slowly however the slow you will gonna go it's gonna be much more clear voice of a speaker uh, I'm using a match stick do not use these kind of stuff because it's gonna stick it, it has a magnet in it and it's gonna stay in it 
it's gonna stick okay I'm just going for the second layer the first layer already dried out a little bit this is the second layer I'm just putting on make sure do not leave uh, glue really dip inside try your uh, try your best to not dip the glue inside because otherwise it's gonna stuck it's gonna freeze this middle middle one right now you can feel it it's just going up and down a little bit anyway this glue is little bit flexible it's gonna manage automatically throughout the time when it's uh, it, it's going to receive push with the, from sound okay this is the second layer i'm putting on I'm just going to leave this uh, speaker for about 10 to 15 minutes otherwise if just if I will go and install straight away it's gonna bust again there will be holes around here in uh, in in glue and the voice will gonna have a noise again uh, the same way I'm gonna make the second one I will pause the video and come back once I'm just gonna complete uh, the entire process I'm just showing a little bit of damage of our second speaker and here I'm going to put some glue on it and pausing the video once I complete I will be back okay, after completing uh, completing the second speaker I will explain you the glue a little bit details around here that you can have an idea Okay, now I'm pausing the video and wait for about 10 to 15 minutes to really let it dry and then come back. Okay, I have applied two layers on it and wait for about 20 minutes uh, to make sure it's dried out. And to see if I can uh, reinstall these. And just wait, I will put back everything and come back. Okay, I'm after putting back everything, I'm just turning on the sound. This is after the glue. I'm not sure how my mic is recording, but it is working fine. And it is full. Okay, thanks for watching video.